Okay, so our now we're going to talk about our cross sections. This is the second part of our video for 6.1. Okay, cross section. Is an intersection of a three-dimensional figure and a plane. So, if I'm looking at the shape that is made when we intersect this plane with this three-dimensional figure, it's this five-sided figure, which is a pentagon. Okay, this is a fun one. The plane is just touching the very, very tippy top of the cone at one point. Okay, this intersection is this figure right here. Three, four, five, six. It's this whole part of the plane. Okay, that is a hexagon. Okay, we just did this one with the Play Doh. This is a triangle. Okay. A piece, that's a typo. A piece of cheese is a prism with equilateral triangle bases. How can you slice the cheese to make each shape? Okay, so we've got equilateral triangles um, as the bases. So I'm going to draw one base. Whoops, that wasn't very equilateral, was it? Okay, and then here's my top one. Well, I'm going to draw my sides first. Ew. This is pink cheese. It's a special form of cheese. I should have made these ones back here dashed also. So how could we cut the cheese to make an equilateral triangle? So we could cut with a plane anything that was parallel, any cut that was parallel to the bases. Does everybody see that? So let me get my little plane. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to draw this. Okay, yeah, I do. I can do it. Okay, so this plane. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, it's good enough. Does that even make sense? No, I'm missing part of it. I'm missing this piece. Nope. This is harder than it looks. Okay, that plane slicing through there would make that intersection. Does that even line up right? I don't know. There's probably a better way to have done that. I'm sorry. Okay, a rectangle. This one should be easier. So this one, let me get my little cheese. Oh, this is a better way to do this, guys. Okay. So anything that is parallel or perpendicular to the base going through like this would work. So I can just cut my through here. Oops. Did I do that right? I don't know. I probably did those pictures really badly. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's say for this one, this would be parallel to the base.
and this would be perpendicular to base. Okay. How can a chef cut a cubed shaped block of cheese to make slices with triangular faces? Um, I'm kind of bummed I just put away. Let's get some Play Doh. Oh, did we throw away the floss? Sorry, I'm going to the trash with floss. Okay, so we had our little cube of cheese, and we sliced it with the floss, like, right here, and we chopped off a corner, and we made a little triangular face. So that's what we, I don't know how to draw that. I'm going to have to figure out how to draw it in a minute, but we'll come back to that one, because I don't know how to draw it. Okay. Almost done, guys. If we rotate a rectangle, what three-dimensional shape is created? Okay, it doesn't really specify the axis, but if you can imagine having a rectangle and then having an axis maybe right here and spinning it around, you see what's happening? Does everybody understand what I'm saying right now? Spinning it around the axis, what shape would we get? So it would be flat on top. It would make a circle around. Nobody? Okay. All right. So imagine that wherever this little rectangle goes around the axis of rotation, it le leaves a solid behind, okay? So if I'm rotating it around, what shape is that going to make? It's making a circle, but it's not going to be a circle everywhere. It's not a sphere. It's a cylinder. Thank you. How do you spell cylinder? Am I doing it right? Okay. Okay, if we rotate a right triangle, <coughs> okay, we're rotating a right triangle, what's it going to make? A cone. A cone. Okay, semicircle. God help us. Okay, we can do it. We're going to run out of post its, guys. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, so if I take this semicircle and I rotate it, it's going to make a sphere. It's kind of a lumpy sphere, but you get the idea, right? Okay. Okay, if we rotate a circle, what three-dimensional shape is created? A donut. A donut. Thank you. Um, if you rotate a right trapezoid. Okay. A right trapezoid. Looks like that. So it's got one side that is perpendicular to the base, okay? So what do I ro what does that give me when I rotate that? What does it look like in your grandma's house? A lamp. A lampshade. Thank you. Good. I thought maybe like <laughs> your parents might be too cool to have lamps, but your grandma might have lampshades. A lampshade. Is that the last one? Okay, thank God we're done. I know that you are anxiously <laughs> awaiting the conclusion of this video of how can you cut a cube-shaped block of cheese to make slices with a triangular face. And one of my kids figured it out, and it's like this. <laughs>
there's your triangular face. 